I built an SR-71 boat because I am not capable of flying anything. I love this airplane because it's insanely fast. And I need this one to beat every other RC boat we have. Otherwise, it's getting blasted out of our Hot Wheels launcher so we can make certain that it's the fastest RC boat we have, at least one time. But boats are not airplanes, and that is a major problem for us. Sure, air is a fluid just like water. So technically, airplanes are sky boats. I'm just not sure if the SR-71 is going to make a good boat. Also, we might launch this thing anyways. I haven't decided yet. So what makes a good boat? First off, it has to be fast, just like the SR-71. Second, it's got to float. I think we all know that. <laughs> oh my God, not again. Third, it has to not fly because boats aren't supposed to do that either. <laughs> That's actually one of my bigger worries here because this design is based off of an airplane. And the EDFs I use produce a fair amount of thrust whether you're in the water or not. Uh, and lastly, it has to be able to turn so that if we're in some tight spaces, we can get around and get out of there. How fast does it have to be, you ask? This thing needs to beat a professionally designed Traxxas Blast because that's really the only speed boat we have. And I think that's actually gonna be a big challenge because there are almost no speed boats with this geometry, except the 1981 Miss Circus Circus. And legend has it that this boat was so bad, it didn't win a single race. All the other fast boats in its class look like the SR-71 backwards where it's big in the front, small in the back instead of small up front big and back. But we do have a few tricks up our sleeve that I think will help get us there. And yes, one of those tricks is just launching it out of the Hot Wheels launcher, which is kind of like a catapult on an aircraft carrier if you think about it. So that's maybe within the rules. Step one of this process was to design the boat in CAD. And I actually used blueprints to get it as close to scale as I could. The motors are what really threw it off because I didn't have access to tiny turbo jets. I was stuck with these 50 millimeter ducted fans that I scavenged from my fan car series. They have been officially upgraded from a vacuum cleaner to a hair dryer. The next step was to 3D print it and then make a giant mess trying something new because I wanted it to be pretty and watertight. The SR-71 just looks so cool and I'm left with this lumpy mess to clean up because the resin coating dried way too fast. After a liberal amount of sanding and a little bit of primer, it's good enough for YouTube. There's also a good chance this boat sinks. So I took the preventative measure of waterproofing the electronics and cramming them in this tiny compartment. Hopefully we can salvage what gets damaged. It's test time and we actually don't even need water to get around yet. I just realized that all the other boats I've built are amphibious as well, so I, at least we're sticking with the theme. Enough piddling around in the grass. Is this boat fast enough on its own, or is it time to blast off? And the best place that we can think of to find out is this dirty old drainage ditch. Do you think it's gonna float? You don't think it'll float? I don't think anything we make is gonna float. Let's get it going. All right, this is the test to see if it'll float. That's a big one. That's important. Let's see. No, the other way. End of the wind. Yeah, there you go. I guess there is no stream direction. It's just a nasty old. All right. Oh man, that's way down in there. <laughs> oh shoot, it sucks in water. Oh. That's bad. I don't know if that's good. Turn right and punch it. Oh no, that's too much water. Oh my goodness. It technically floats, but you can see it pulls water into the inlets and just spits it out. All right, it's sink and save it. We gotta get that thing out of there. We're gonna toast those motors, dude. Good job. Good piloting. All right, I got it. Man, this test was absolutely terrible. If you look at the slow motion replays, you can see this thing just sucks in all the water. And these motors are not supposed to do that. They're air propellers, not water propellers. Fortunately, I had a really bad idea next. I needed to raise the motors out of the water a bit, which led me to this hideous blob shape to put on the bottom. I really hope this works. All right, so we put this hideous blob on there. We're gonna see if we can keep the motors out of the water and if that'll get any speed. Otherwise, it's not. you don't think so? No. Are you talking you trash? Remember what happened last time? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't have much faith. We'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, so it barely, barely even clears the, barely even clears the rocks. Ah, it still sucks. It still sucks. See if you can get it up to speed at all. Hey, why are you going so slow? It controls really well. It's just insanely hard to get going anywhere. 
or maybe somehow it made it even worse. Not only is it still sucking in like a ton of water, it's even slower and less controllable because of the stupid blob. Is it stuck? Yes. Oh no, oh no, here. There you go. All right, now try and bring it back. You got it. Slowly, slowly, slowly. There we go. It's coming back. All right, we're good. He's about to beach it. On a side note, it took me way too long to realize that Jet was just trying to spray me on half these runs. <laughs> He's trying to spray me. He's trying to spray me. <laughs> he thought he was hilarious, and that's really the only thing this boat is good at at this point. This is me coming to the realization that this design is just bad. Very, very bad. Not even 3D printed hydrofoils will save us, and that was, in fact, the next trick up our sleeve. The Hot Wheel Launcher is sounding really good right now, but I remember Jet's idea. Hi. All right, so what do you think we need to change? Uh, well, that's too late. It's an SR71. It's got to have like... Okay, but we should put two more motors, but they're actual boat motors. And that's how I ended up here with this tiny little outboard motor. I am far too invested in this now for it to fail. Now, I was a little bit sad because I feel like it took a little bit away from the SR71 aesthetic, but these actually came out much better than I expected. I just hope they work. So I walked out into this disgusting pond for some open water to finally show how great of a boat the SR71 makes. Oh my God, hit it, it's sinking. Oh no, it's so bad, go. Oh. Except it sucked up a ton of this algae into both props. This stuff was disgusting and it was really tough. So there's no way the props would cut through it like I had hoped for. After some serious cleaning, I had to wade out into some deeper water to get us out of this mess. Way out here. Let's find a better spot. Let's send it off. So, look at that, it's already on the ground. What's it doing? Ah, oh, I did it again! <laughs> yep, you guessed it. The same exact thing happened again. That's a common theme of this video. So after one more round of cleanup, it was time to try one more spot that should be better and we can finally prove to the world that we know what we're doing here. Go. Oh, it's working. It's back in the algae. <laughs> Go find it. Go find it. Oh, no. It's capsized. <laughs> oh, my God. Not again. Not again. Not again. Oh. Oh. Disgusting. Look at that. Except it wasn't better. It was the same exact thing and my boots are wet. It literally just like flipped itself over immediately as if it were trying to play dead to get out of this absolute disaster. This thing is a train wreck, it's not good, and it's making us sad. Yet again, we find ourselves needing a better solution. I can tell the motors really aren't as fast as I planned, and this algae is everywhere. And this can only mean one thing. We need a new and improved source of propulsion. And this took like several minutes of research and development. That's right, the launcher. I had to weasel in this little, um, this tail looking thing with some pistons so that it seals almost inside the barrel and we can get a really good launch. This is gonna be awesome. And look, this was always gonna happen. It never mattered how fast or slow the boat went because it will never be faster than this thing can send it. And the SR-71 was fast, this needs to be fast. And there also comes a time when you just have to admit the design isn't good. For us to make it perform well, we're gonna need to redesign the drivetrain again, probably with really expensive jet drives, and it's gonna be a whole ordeal. And to be honest with you, I don't really like this boat anymore, and I don't wanna keep putting time and money into it. But I do wanna launch it and see exactly what'll happen. This launcher is insane, by the way. It can launch Hot Wheels at over 500 miles an hour, which in all fairness, I do not wanna get anywhere close to 500 with something this big maybe like uh, 50 or so. So I started this with low air pressure in the chamber and just a little trial run. It was perfect and this thing finally hit a proper speed. 
The next step was to add a backstop so we can decommission this thing once and for all. I don't want to be tempted to go adding another $200 worth of motors again, so we need to completely destroy it. And what happened next was absolutely unbelievable. Despite slamming into a table at such a high speed, the only real damage was like the nose cone kind of popped off. After we replaced that, you could barely tell anything happened. We finally found this thing's strength. It's like ridiculously tough, which the original SR71 was not. We We've been sitting on a nice flight from the second floor and literally nothing else happened. And that's unacceptable. So we had no choice but to do what Jet loves to do and that is break out the golf clubs. Wait, wait, what? Dude, that barely did anything. What are you gonna do now? Even that took like a few tries before we made decent progress in disassembling this thing. But progress was made and we can finally put this terrible design behind us. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time.